Hello everyone. So welcome to BIM Modeler channel. This is Raj Kumar from BIM Modeler. So in this today's sessions, uh, we will be learning uh, what is uh, a room and how to place door window components. So this will be the basic tutorials and how to pick it up uh, rooms and placing it automatically on the spaces that we have in our model. And second things are the components the component families such as that uh, with door families, window families and furniture families which is available by default with the Revit. How do we load it and how can we place it on our projects. So, so if you are aware that uh, we have a, a channel that BIM models that uh, you are watching these videos so you can subscribe to the BIM model so we are following up with the continuous tutorials on a daily basis and the agenda of tutorials will be Revit architecture the basic after completing that it will be a dynamo tutorials continue to that so if you wanted to learn more on advanced topics such as parametric modeling there are or oh, you can find there are playlist you can follow those videos and you can share with with your learning friends so that they will be learning it daily basis one by one so that we can continue with our projects let us start the Revit 2020 I hope you have practiced the previous sessions so you just took the walls and you have placed the created the rooms by yourself let us go and open the same model that we saved yesterday the previous model open Revit basic tutorials on the fifth sessions wall roof floor plans that we then open it So hope this session uh, will be a simple one for you to understand. The thing is that you have to every day if you are seeing a Revit interface for the beginning one month you will be able to understand what it is and how it will be used. So the thing is that you have to use the tool. You have to pick it. You have to use and you don't have to worry about the properties available which is related to them. So you have to manipulate them and then you have to see and you have to place it you will be able to understand it very clearly let us say that this is our rooms which we created for ground floor so we can rename it as ground floor and it will ask the questions do you wanted to rename all the places such as in ceiling plan and levels yes let us continue from that architectural tab rooms and areas room you can take the room tool and you will be able to see the cursor moving around by moving around you will be able to see that it directs the boundaries of the room like this we can place it wherever we need say place it here in this place and like this so if you have a hundreds of rooms you may not be able to click and place all those rooms so you can use this option place rooms automatically so that it will place in only in particular this floor plan it will place all the rooms not to the second floor or not to the third floor tag and placement it is nothing but you can see a name and number to the room, room num rooms so it will be the tax will be placed automatically it will be a text elements will be placed automatically if you don't want you can untick it so later while documentations detailing you have to create tags by using a different ways which is available under annotation tab let us create this so that we can understand so place it automatically that's it after this two there are remaining seven rooms which is created so let it be as it is let's say that the reception and conference room office one office 
to office 3 so simply you can select, you will be able to select two times in the same place you will be able to select it and you will be able to modify the names or otherwise you can select the rooms you can go nearby any of these walls or here any of this place you can use tab buttons to continuously s see the selection cycle through and select the room so the, the value which is showing which is nothing but the properties of the rooms so the properties which is nothing but number room number and room name so it must be the properties so you can come down after selecting rooms you will be able to see the number and name you can change the name as common place or corridor toilet 1 toilet 2 toilet 3 okay so let it be as it is so we need to see that whether these rooms are in a proper numbering order if it is not you can rename it as per your requirement say as, as similar to that you will be able to select it and you can go back and change it or you can by selecting tab button so that you will be able to select rooms go back to the downside in the property identity data you'll be able to see the numbers you can rename it as requirement by this way you will be able to understand these rooms and you can change the room tag with area you will be able to understand the room areas like this so I wanted to select all the tags available in this room not only one tag select all I want to select only the tags filter out check none room tags ok I wanted to select the second type as that area so we wanted to create area we want to see it and we can see it if suppose if you wanted to classify it and if you wanted to color it as it required you will be able to see the drop down over in this place in your uh, room and area positions are the same place which we used drop down color scheme this particular option used will be used for the property based on the property it will create the color fill to your rooms so after clicking those buttons you will be able to see edit color scheme dialog box in that you have to select rooms there are two types which is already defined based on the name based on the department we are not assigned any properties related to department we just assign the room names so we wanted to create the color legend based on the room names let's just say ok and we have to assign it to our current view which is the property of the current view we are in ground floor and the property shows the floor plan just drop down you will be able to see the property name called color scheme assign the color scheme which is related to rooms name select ok if you need the color scheme legend you will be able to create under analysis tab and which has color fee or under annotation tab you will have color fill legend take that legend place it nearby our building so that we will be able to understand the room legends clearly if in case so considering this open space as our canteen or cafeteria for our office so we may have to create one wall but it's open space open cafeteria in that case we have a tool named called room separator which help us to define the boundaries of 
cafeteria say let's take this one this will be the simple drawing tool line rectangle circles you can draw the lines from one place to the other place exactly overlapping just click like this so that the area will be separated like this now let's say that if you wanted to as in a separate room to this yes it's possible now you can rename it as canteen that's it as simple it is so after this I am coming to understand that we have to align this wall with the other walls which is available so let's take the modify tool align and going nearby you will be able to see the different edges and center line of the walls I wanted to align with the edges edge with edge yes and if you see that the element which is uh, there in the previous time which was got deleted because we don't need it anymore and V reminds the parametric constraint between the other elements so that it remains coming closer to the so we wanted to keep these office space as equal as possible so we can create a dimension equilateral dimension align dimensions center line center line center line to the center line click it equal now if you see that the area is 183 183 174 it's supposed to be because the room which has more wall thickness over the other rooms still we will be able to modify it let's keep it for the other object so other modifying commands to be used let it be as it is we can come back and align it later so you can drag it select it and drag it and align it wherever you need that's simple so that's it about rooms we'll go back to the other features today's uh, options that we're going to discuss it's simple placing doors and windows and placing furniture families will be on based on this component let us take door we have selected only one type by default in architecture template we have loaded only one template which has different sizes which is called different types to a single plus family the single plus family is a family which contains these many or say seven types of family which is with different dimensions to it let us place a couple of doors into our room space areas like this or so we may have to place it on the office room like here in this place you can see the temporary dimensions while I'm dragging on wall and you will be able to see the wall flip over to the sides based on my cursor and you can select it simply like this and you can see the cross reference between the wall and center line and even you will be able to select the door alone and drag this temporary line to the edge of the door so that you will be able to see the clearance to it 5 inch enter you can select the same door and say create similar in the menu and going forward to the other offices and let us place the doors so we may need the other door types for our conference room and reception so while placing the you have an option of loading the families you can do it or you can simply press escape one time and second time in Revit you have to understand that you have to deselect two times so that this option particular option that you have in hand will be modified to the normal cursor insert and there are many option inserting so we have to insert the family from our 
outer side folder to the project so load family option and this is the default location to the families which we have so you can find it as in this place you can note it down this place this is a hierarchy so the versions of what we have it is important if you are using other versions it will be very under that door and you have a multiple options of door and you will be able to select through these doors so we are in commercial and I need one of these door and I can go back and select multiple doors like this yes and this double door and single panel double panel so there are variety of doors which is given by Autodesk and you will be able to select those I'm just giving open this is the type specific dialog box so if you have n number of types in the same family if you don't want to increase your file size of the project you can select each one of them and the size requirement based on your project and the second one third one and fourth family you will be able to select your types the required types for your project let's say ok yes now you can go back to the door option and you can see that now you have you will be having different door types and their families so single flush we don't need it and this family which will have a clear see-through window for our office but we have placed already the single flush door I will select these door doors and I can change that back to 30 by 80 passage sign single and it will get changed automatically with the reference to that still I wanted to create doors as single flush to our toilet so if you have placed the doors by mistake outside so it's okay that you will be able to select the door and you can use this button flipping arrow button so that it will flip between these sides and to the other side you have an option while placing the family or after placing the family of spacebar so that it will I'm giving spacebar so it rotates or flips around four sides like this so these are the tricks little tricks that we have to use you can use it is very simple as comparing the AutoCAD or uh, SketchUp softwares that while placing the components it's very easy still going back to the door DR and you will have the option of selecting the door as double door and with 84 80 inches now we have the option to open it outside I suppose to keep it outside let it be as outside and you will be able to see the temporary dimensions to it if you need you can modify it later and the next door no see through on this door double acting and 7284 it can open in both directions I'm keeping this door nearby to the offices so that the office people come and join it in this place easily moving around okay so this particular door have two different swinging methods since it's a conference room yes the similar way you will be able to load the window families and you can place those on our projects so you can see that there are different window families which is available by default and you will be able to pick it up those and 
place it in your projects it is as similar as previous one you can select it and place it wherever you need it and you will be able to change the properties such as sill height for the window over in this place three feet it is by default and you can change if you need later time or the same time while discussing about furnitures you can have this component we don't have any anything button called furniture we can simply use for component if you don't have the accessibility to the other com object so like if you don't find a buttons so the component can able to access to have all the families which is related to the uh, not categorized in rivet so you will be able to take it and place it in any family that is maybe a tree or anything so the furniture family as of now i see that only the table which i can place it in the office room over in this place and i want to see whether this object is placed properly facing this direction so that the people can sit i can select it and you s you may see this option section box bx while clicking this it will show as the 3d view section boxed now if you see that family which is flipped around the other side so we have to rotate it back so always we have to check in 3d so that the visual appearance will be right you can select it and give space bar so that it rotates and you can realign by simply clicking and dragging it into the room and you will be able to create similar or component now we understand that the upside have the opening sides of drawers so we can flip it while placing by using space bar and we can place it like this to the other office to space and place in it we need to place the chair family so load family option and you will be back upside upside furniture family and double click on the furniture we need seating and you can go down and you will be able to see the chairs which is available to the office let me select this one which is looking good and open it we'll place it over in this place i just want to place it uh, a little bit 45 degree angle it will be look good so you see this 45 degree window so it's not detecting let me select it like this somewhere the 45 degree angle will be detectable in lines I don't think so it directs it. Okay, let us make it as perpendicular. So when you see if uh, 45 degree lines, you can use them as a reference and you will be able to press the space bar it will align to those lines automatically so as like in this one so it will align with those lines since these lines are not directable so it's not sitting properly. And you will be able to place it as 90 degree. you will be able to use the copy and paste options and you can place it at any time so as as similar that we used it let us say so this type i'm using control and selecting at multiple families like this and you will be able to have the option of copy inside the project copy elements and it will ask us in status bar it will ask us to select the one point starting point and from here to here 
we just copied and pasted it one time and we may see a small gap so we need to move it so move it and select it and to the same place so that it will align neatly so i hope uh, this will be understandable so similar will be able to fulfill all the office areas with the furniture different furniture which is available with our component and from the autodesk websites you can download and place them and you can practice it as much as possible with the other flows also is required so you can place the furnitures to them also so that's it for today so if you are not subscribed to the uh, way model options you can subscribe uh, thank you for your support see you on the next tutorial signing off rajkumar